This is a terrible way to start off a video. All right, my dog's here. Say hi to uh, Arthur. He doesn't like to look at the camera, but basically today I will be retelling a story of what I filmed last week. And let me set the scene for you real quick. Last week, uh, on Sunday, me and a few of my friends at my church, we went to a corn maze here in Sioux Falls. And uh, it was really fun. I'll show you an aerial view right here of what the maze actually looks like. Anyway, uh, so I did film a lot of stuff there, hoping that it would turn out to be a vlog. But turns out, guess who is terrible at, uh, uh... But guess what? Guess who is terrible at filming correctly? I had the phone down like this the entire time we were walking, and I barely even got any good footage. So, um, I said that I'd rather just retell the story uh, rather than having, like, so much footage of my phone, and already I've already deleted it, so I'm sorry to my friends that are in the video. But this is what you get this week. Stop licking your butt. Okay, so first thing that happened was me and my friend Quinn. We were walk. We start. I started off the video being like, "What's up, guys? This is my first vlog. It's kind of windy out today." Ah. And, uh, we're, me and Quinn, we're at a corn maze. But, little did we know what we were getting into. Not even five minutes in. Five minutes in, we got lost. I literally checked the time from when we started. Five minutes in, we were lost. We had no idea what we were doing. We were, eventually, we found our way to the very edge of the maze. Like, and... If I insert a photo, I'll show you, like, this side right here, uh, very, the very top of it, um, but we thought that was just the border of the map that we were given, and some of you might be asking yourselves, what, how would you get lost if you had a maze, and, um, the answer to that question is, between me and Quinn, we both have one brain collectively. And let's just say that he, Quinn has one brain by himself. All right. We obviously got lost. But I actually, me, I decided and realized first that we were on the very escape route because it didn't take that long. And the escape route was the very edge of the map. But we thought it was the border of the map. So we thought it was just like a little design choice. But no, even though there was a sign that said this is the escape route, and there's a sign on our map that it was an escape room. Qu Quinn, he didn't believe me. So obviously, we got more lost. So eventually, we found our way uh, back, and I realized that I was right, and he was wrong. And I decided that I should be in charge of leading the group. Obviously, Captain Brendan at your service. Let's just say that that didn't go too well. And, um, I wish I had the footage here, but this is probably the only good part of it, but I already deleted the file, so I'm sorry about that. Um, it was right about then when, all of a sudden, we, th some, somebody, something dropped from the sky. It was a giant piece of corn. It's corn. A big lump of knobs, yeah. Anyway, corn dropped from the sky. I, mean, I thought the sky was falling. Quinn, he was about to say the F word, and... Uh, Jesus Christ in the same sentence, so I don't know if there's, that's bad, but anyway, I would have cut it out if I had the footage, because this is a kid's channel, and we do not talk like that, that's an audio language, and if you do talk like that, alright, uh, immediately we started hearing some, like, rustling in the bushes, but not really bushes, because it's a cornfield, you weirdo, why would you actually believe me that there's bushes? What am I doing? All right, um, and then when we realized that, the, we also heard like our friends' voices, and immediately they came running out of the woods. We chased, not the woods, it was corn, uh, but we chased after them, and eventually we caught them, and um, 
I introduced them to my uh, to YouTube, but not really because I deleted the photos. Like, then again, I'm sorry. I'll probably have a count in the corner over here on how many times I've said I'm sorry in this video. But just a thought uh, for editing, Brendan. Let's just say that I might have abandoned Quinn for them. Sorry, Quinn. Another point up in the counter on how many times I've said, I'm sorry. But me, I just ran away from him and followed the rest of them. There's Colin, there's Logan, and his little brother. Uh, Logan's little brother. And then we, uh, we ran away from Quinn. And we started running through the cornfield. I don't know if that's, like, against the law. But uh, I hope I don't get arrested. Hey, hey, hey! I didn't do anything! Dude, you literally ran through an entire corn maze not expecting there to be consequences. Okay, yeah, I did do that, but I shouldn't be arrested for that. Oh, yeah, it also says here that one time you poured the milk before the cereal. Okay, I should be arrested for that. So we kept running through the bushes. Eventually, we came to every little checkpoint, because I don't know if you know this, because I, uh, you probably wouldn't, because I didn't even mention it at all. But we had a little checkpoint system, so there was, like, little checkpoints throughout the maze that you had to try to find in or order to get, like, a free thing. I don't know. We found all of them, but then we were just wandering around. And at one point, we found Quinn again, but we booked it through the, the corn, so. Yeah. <sighs> Welcome back to Quick Breaths with Brendan. I'm Brendan. <gasps> Maybe if they can't see me, they'll just stop watching the video because this is terrible content. Oh, my dog Arthur came up and decided to sit down there with me. Do you want to go in the sink? Yes, if you're wondering, the sink is still there. I don't know why we have a sink here. It's a downstairs living room. I swear he just saw a ghost. He was just staring intently at the wall. What do you see? Do you see ghosts? He looks terrified. It might be from the ghost, but it also could from me, be from me because I am ugly. Alright, and on to the next little... Stop sniffing the box, huh? Anyway, so eventually, uh, we made it out alive. Well, not all of us, but I don't think illegally I'm allowed to talk about that. But, uh, we made it all out, and Pastor Randy, I got, well, speaking of Pastor Randy, you remember when I was with Quinn? You probably do, because I don't really think you would forget about that unless you have short-term memory. Kids, you remember when I was with Quinn? When I was leading and we were lost, I kept yelling out for my pastor to see if he was in there. But it turns out he wasn't in there. He was all over at the beginning, just waiting for us. And um, when we finally got out, not Quinn, we didn't know where we were. Uh, apparently, there had been a secret treasure the whole time. A secret treasure in the middle of somewhere, but it wasn't on the maps. Um, Quinn told us about it, and he's like, did you find the treasure? I'm like, there's a treasure? And then he, like, circled on our maps roughly where it was. And I was said I was going to sue him for, like, a for a lot of money if he was wrong about this. But turns out he was not wrong about this. So, uh, Quinn, congratulations. You get to keep your money. Anyway, um, my dog is just staring at me like I'm the weirdo I am. Stop sniffing my leg. Anyway, so we headed back into to the maze, destined to find this uh, very uh, treasure. So we thought it was an actual treasure chest. No, it was like a little post with a treasure chest painted on it and just had a hole puncher so you could hole punch your map to, or so you could... Uh, prove that you found the treasure chest and you could get a free thing from the thing, uh, from the store, from the maze. And, uh, we didn't know this, because they never explained it to us, but we found it, so we're good on that part. And, uh, we got a, f I got a free Coke, and then, um, I also 
got a free water. Well, I got a free Coke and I bought a water. But I also had some cents back, so I gave it to Colin. And he bought some Skittles with it, so, with some of the money. So I officially owned 33% of, uh, of a Skittles packet. So I'm a rich homeowner now. Anyway, um, and basically that's it. That's pretty much the only significant things that happened in there. And I didn't feel like going over through an hour and a half's worth of footage just to tell you that story anyway. This video is already 12 minutes long, but you know what? I'm going to keep it going. Let's, how about we do a quick interview with, in, with Arthur? Oh, hello. In case you didn't get a good look at him, this is what he looks like. All right, let's see if I can... Uh. All right, let's get on to the interview, shall we? Uh, what is your name, sir? Your name is Lick My Finger? Mr. Lick My Finger. Are you staring so intently at yourself in the mirror? So thanks. Anyway, uh, <laughs> where, where did you grow up? Where, where did you grow up? Boston. Wow. Hmm. Very interesting. Don't look at my toesy weirdo. Alright, you want belly rubs, Mr. Boston Massacre? Alright. Okay. Anyway, uh, on to the interview with Mr. Sniff My Finger again after this short break. Hi, I'm Brendan from Brendan's Footwear. Come on down to Brendan's Footwear. Why? Because we got shoes, shoes, and giraffe shoes. Wait, are those shoes for giraffes or made out of giraffes? Yes! So come on down to Brendan's Footwear for some shoes. This message was brought to you by Milk. Find some in a cow near you. Uh. Hi. I don't need to go to the mental hospital, you do. Alright. It's an imaginary microphone because I do not own one because I am poor. Oh, now we're biting my finger, huh? You're going in so many weird different positions just to try to bite my fingers. What are you doing? For those of you wondering, he happens to be a Chihuahua Terrier mix, so if you ever hear him bark in there and it's shrill, that's, that's the Chihuahua in him. But he's a sweet dog, if he knows you. Otherwise, he's going to bark at you if he doesn't know you. Also, he might bark at you if he does know you. Arthur, if one thing you should know about Arthur is that he barks when the wind blows east. He keeps yelling at me, Why doesn't the wind blow west, Brendan? And I'm like, I don't know, I can't control the weather. And he's like, try. And I'm like, okay. And then I try to control the weather, and he's still mad at me because I can't for some reason. Sorry, I prayed to God about it one time, and he didn't answer. Uh, how about we move on to some clips that I had previously, if I still do have them? You know what, I'm gonna check. We are good. We I still have the footage. For those of you who don't know, because I probably have never mentioned it before, I tried to kick this channel off before in July. Right now it's September, for those of you who don't feel like checking when this di this video came out. Um, but I tried to start a series where I would have to try to come up with a different way to make money every single week. But turns out, I'm really bad at motivation, so, uh, guess who only got two dollars, but it was meant for my other YouTube channel with one of my other friends. If you don't know that, check that out. It's Peanut Butterfish Productions on YouTube. We only have one video out, and, uh, I have a really bad haircut, so check that out. Um, anyway, so, in July, uh, I tried to kick this channel off with the series of me trying to come up with, um, a different way to make money every single week. But, um, the first one was mowing. I don't know why I did that. But, turns out, uh, I actually have a, still some footage left over from that. And, fully edited, too. So, I don't know why I just didn't end up posting it at all. Probably because I didn't even do any mowing in that. But, anyway. Uh, how about we cut to that the video? Because I'm not going to really waste that footage if I filmed it fully. I'm not gonna waste it, but let me know if the comment in the comments if you want me to try to 
maybe do that either this summer or, well, next summer or even during the school year sometimes. If you want to see that, uh, like the video. If you don't want to see it, dislike the video. Actually, don't dislike it. Just If you don't want to see it, just don't do anything to the video. Just watch the rest of it, please. I'm really bad at views. Anyway, um, so me and Arthur, we're going to cut to that clip now. Hey, uh, what's going on? Uh, my name's Brennan, and this is my new YouTube channel. Anyway, I came up with this idea where I have to come up with a new way to make money every single week for the rest of summer. So, the thing is, I have to meet three criteria. One, come up with the idea, obviously. Two, create a funny commercial for the idea. And three, I have to uh, perform, well, actually execute the idea. So, uh, hopefully... I'll be able to do that. I don't know where this series will be going. If I quit, I'll probably just delete this video. Or maybe never post it at all. Anyway, if you're watching it, I posted it. Congratulations. Anyway, so, uh, this week's idea is, drum roll please. My phone's falling. Why aren't you drum rolling? You, you guessed it. Probably not. I don't think you did. Uh, we're mowing lawns. I know it's not that creative, but I wanted to start off smooth, just in case I have, like, anything that could probably go wrong. I hope it goes wrong in the beginning. Anyway, so, that's what we're doing this week. And now we're about to start writing our material for our very commercial. I know it doesn't look like it's on on the camera but it is so uh let's get to it hello it is currently the next day aka fourth of july and i don't really feel like mowing any lawns today because it's a holiday but happy fourth of july and with that being said i have finished my script for the commercial I was doing, and I will insert the footage of me doing the commercial here. Howdy, my name is Brendan from Charlie's Mowing Service. I don't really know why they called it Charlie's Mowing Service, even though my name is Brendan. Uh, I'm the only employee, I'm the only person, I'm the only CEO, I'm the only creator. But, I mean, it's out of my hands, so. Didn't you just say you created Shut it? Shut up. Anyway, with that being said, you should come on down to um, Brendan's Mowing Salon. Yes, I just changed the name right now. Have you ever wanted a 14-year-old boy to um, come over to your house and mow your lawn for you? Well, now you can for just the low, low price of... Um, ten dollars for one of your lawns and fifteen for both. That is the deal of the century, people. But not only that, we will uh, ship our mowers. Actually, I'm just gonna drive it over to your driveway and over to your house for free for no extra cost. That is amazing. That's the deal of the century, people. So what are you waiting for? Call. Uh, 555, five, five, not a real number, not a real number. This message was brought to you by Milk. Find some in a cow near you.